Yeah, absolutely. So, um, if I'm uh, remembering correctly, uh, the late 90s was around the period where she kind of started to maybe get in a little bit more to se uh, into serious work with uh, her film career also. I mean, she was mostly generally relegated to uh, bit parts and uh, more substantial parts in uh, B-Cinema, but uh, by around, say, 1999 and then into 2000, that was when most of her well-known stuff was put together on the cinema side. But she was uh, pretty consistent as far as uh, touring and doing all of the uh, shows in the uh, Gentleman's Club, uh, even after her uh, film career had stopped, correct? Yeah, uh, before, during, and after. It was always interesting when I would meet her on the road, she would talk about the movies uh, that she had done. Uh, her earlier uh, work, of course, was with Playboy, uh, mm -hmm. and did videos with them. Then uh, she went to Penthouse, then back to Playboy. Uh, then uh, some uh, movie producers, uh, Jim Lewarski, uh, of course, comes to mind. Uh, did a lot of work with him, and he really did a lot to help her with her film career. Uh, Fred Olin Ray, as well, uh, did a lot of work with him. But, and doing the movies, she was also featuring, because again, like I said, uh, she wanted to be close to her parents. Mm -hmm. So it was always fun uh, when we would meet on the road, she would talk about the people she worked with mm -hmm. and some of the actors um, and stuff, and give me a little behind the scene views. And always when we were on the road at that time, uh, the late 90s or early 2000s, she would be hanging up from one uh, call to do a movie straight to another call to do a photo shoot. It was just constant, one thing after another. Yeah, she developed a real substantial por portfolio, and she was really, as far as uh, film, I think she has upwards of 47 credits on IMDb. Some of it was reused stock footage, which kind of goes to the quality of the work she did, I guess you could say, but um, her print career in particular was extremely substantial, and we're talking more than a dozen different publications, I think. Uh, apart oh. from Playboy and Penthouse, even there was other stuff. There were uh, mainline lingerie uh, catalogs, stuff like that, also. Yes, sir. She, uh, we, honestly, uh, Larissa herself, we do not know how many publications, like I said, the lingerie catalogs, mm -hmm. swimsuit catalogs, uh, the gentleman magazines, uh, some of the. I don't want to say lower end, but lower budget magazines. Yeah. Uh, we know that it was somewhere in excess of over 200 uh, print copies in different publications. Gotcha. Including uh, some magazines that we say, for example, where they would have at that time the uh, 800 numbers. Mm -hmm. And they would use stock photos of her for that as well. Yes. So it was almost impossible at one point not to be able to pick up a magazine and not have a picture of her in it somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Particularly the, the late 90s, I would think, would probably be the peak of her career.